Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel, and uh, day four of my five days of faves. If you are new here, my name is Rianne, I bring you videos on cruelty-free and vegan lifestyle, mental health, you know, just some things that I care about. So if you do enjoy this video, please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already, it really does help me out. And for today's video, we're gonna be talking about my favorite hair and body products of the past year. In my previous videos so far this week, I've kind of gone about it really randomly, but I'm gonna try and do body and then hair for this one and um, timestamp it. So if you wanna skip straight to hair, feel free. And to keep the tradition of my channel alive, what am I drinking? A Lime LaCroix. I don't often drink LaCroix. I love it. I think I could easily become very addicted to it. There's worse things to be addicted to. Um, but sometimes I just... There's nothing else that refreshes me quite like a LaCroix. <sighs> Let me know your favourite flavour in the comments down below. As with all of the other videos in this series and all of the other videos I do in general, everything will be linked and listed in the description box down below. It does help me out if you guys use that and of course it is there for your enjoyment as well. So uh, let's jump in. So the first item that has been a favourite this year has been this here little travel bag. I do have my um, We Do brush attached to it because I just keep everything in here I could possibly ever need when I'm travelling toiletry wise so um, that's why I keep the um, brush stuffed in there. I saw this bag on one of Estee Lalonde's videos where she showed her like travel essentials and that video really inspired me to do some late night Amazon ordering and create a bag that was just absolutely ready to go had everything I could possibly ever need in it. I do believe I have a video on this so I will link that up in the top corner for you. I think I actually meant to put that in my wildcard favourites for tomorrow but somehow I ended up in this video. It's staying in here now. So next up I have my favourite shave cream. I've talked about this a bunch, it's been in a lot of videos. I've bought several of these now. So it's the Ursa Major um, Stellar Shave Cream with Aloe Birch and Sunflower. The packaging isn't particularly floral or particularly manly so anybody can feel confident buying this. It's all bought anyway. Really great shave cream, softens the skin, doesn't leave my skin feeling dry and especially the skin on my legs gets good and scaly. So um, something that's nice and nourishing when I shave is really helpful to me. Did I already say it? But it definitely softens the hairs, makes it easier to shave and I think you could probably use this on face or body. Yeah, thoroughly onto skin and whiskers. Um, so yeah, really great shave cream, does a good job. I like it a lot. And I do have a mini one of those in my travel bag now. Mm-hmm, yes I do. So kind of in the vein of travel, something I did discover at the very end of this year, but I think is an incredible invention and worth a mention, invention mention, is the Sphinx Travel Razor. So it looks like this. You take the lid off, it has a spray bottle in it, which you can fill with water so you can shave on the go. Spritz, spritz. Then you twist the wheel on the front and you have a bar soap, which is cruelty free and vegan. Smells delightful. Twist it again, you've got a razor head. Not one, but two. So it's so that you can shave on the go. Super easy, literally got everything you need. It's probably not meant for like long-term use. You know, like if you're gonna shave every day for three months, probably don't use this, you just use a normal razor. But definitely for on the go, keeping your gym bag, travel bag, whatever. Great invention. And I don't know about you guys, but I'm a really sloppy uh, shaver. So sometimes in the summer I might be somewhere and be like, wow, I seems I skipped my entire left leg. You could keep this in your bag or in your car if you wanted to. Do it quickly. No, whatever, no. Something I am very excited about and loving. I did a Lush video on their new Naked products. This is getting a little slippery because the lights are very hot. Let me put it down quickly. So they did come out with a naked range, which are like shower gels, um, body lotions, body conditioners, with no packaging. So again, I will link that video if you wanna check it out, but it's their like naked range, and that is their solid packaging-free version of their Once Upon a Time lotion, which I had never used before. I get exceedingly dry skin, especially in the winter, and that is just incredible. I will put it on my skin when I'm fresh out of the shower. I might even still be a bit damp. Rub it all over my skin and then kind of like massage it in quickly and it is just it's fantastic the smell is incredible it makes your skin look nice and kind of like shiny and glowy I'm gonna put some on my hands it's also really cool that there's no packaging left over afterwards so in fact I am due to do an empties video 
What's kind of cool about that is that there are things I have used up, but there's no packaging. So I'm gonna have to start doing a section of my empties video, which is on products without packaging that I've also finished. But anyway, great body moisturizer, um, leaves my skin looking nice and soft and moisturized, but it's not too like sticky or anything. And it really does make like tattoos pop as well. So if you are a dry body skin person like me, I highly, highly, highly recommend trying this one out. It's definitely gonna be a winter savior for me and I've already used up one of these because I use a lot of body lotion. Oh, this smells so good. And the smell, it smells like apples. It smells like it should be in the Juice Beauty Brightening range. Fresh and apple-y. And if you are someone that notices small details, yes, I have glued my nail back on with super glue. <laughs> Desperate times. Now, a product or brand that I've mentioned at least a hundred times before, but had to be in this video, couldn't be a body care video without me mentioning Loving Tan. This is the um, Two Hour Express Deluxe Bronzing Mousse in the shade Medium, which is what I have on right now. It is just such a natural looking tan. Any of the shades just look so natural, whether you are very pale and then you use like the extra dark, or whether maybe you have like kind of a medium skin tone and you just go for the medium one just to kind of bronze things up a little bit. Everything looks so natural and of course they're vegan and cruelty free and I've been using them for probably a few years now honestly. Definitely the best body self tanner I've ever used. Incredible. Love it. I would imagine that is going to be in my new series that I did mention that I want to do on Instagram which is called Gremlin to Goddess which are simple little things that I do that make me feel more like a human. A couple things I wanted to mention which are all fragrances. So these are my favourite fragrances of the past year. One of them which is in roll on form is the Pacifica Himalayan Patchouli Berry Perfume. It is delicious and I know I always say I hate patchouli but there are certain things with patchouli in that... <laughs> I love, but I hate the scent by itself. Anyway, it just smells beautifully fruity, but also does have that like woodsy kind of patchouli-ish thing to it. I love this one. I have two from Pinrose. I have loved Pinrose perfumes for quite a while now, and I did do a video on them, which I will link for you. But this is the newer packaging, and two scents that I've especially been loving lately. Let me find out what the notes are. So for a little dipper, it says the fragrance family is floral, but I would say it's like not your typical floral scent. The scent type, fruity floral, keynotes, peony, mandarin petals, a creamy sandalwood. Sometimes I find that really floral scents can just be a little like too much. I feel like floral scents aren't typically ones I usually gravitate towards, but this one is so beautiful and I think you could wear this all year round. It's very fresh, but it's just so gorgeous. They also do have a bunch of kind of like sample or travel sets too where you can get like wipes and stuff in the different scents if you do want to try out a bunch of theirs. And then the other one I love is Secret Genius. I love this new white packaging. I think it looks beautiful. It says it's the warm and spicy family scent type warm and sweet gourmands. What the heck does that mean? And the keynotes are caramel and vanilla. I feel like it had a different note that it mentioned before. But anyway it says it sips like a white Russian. I'm gonna have a little spritz of that now. It is a very kind of like creamy, sexy, beautiful, beautiful scent. I love this one. These two I definitely find are very different. So if you do like to have an array of fragrances, these are two great ones that I would really recommend and have been loving. Very recently, I came across My Daughter Fragrances in the scent My Wild in my Petit Vore subscription box. I will link it down below if you're interested. They're a vegan and cruelty-free subscription box. Anyway, I got a sample of this one in there and I just became obsessed with it. It's kind of warm and sexy and spicy and kind of sweet, but also still kind of fresh. It's just beautiful. And I definitely always pick up on this. If I sprayed it on me in the morning, even into the evening, I still get wafts of it. And I'm like, damn, that is really good. I'm actually gonna mix them up a little bit. Let me find the notes for you if you've not heard about that one before. I don't know if all of your scents have a little quote to go with them, but this one says, may your feet lead where your heart wants to be. Made with violets, pink pepper, juniper, vanilla, cedar atlas, and vetiver. This scent is the perfect mix of sweet and spicy. Absolutely agree. This lasts so well on my body. I would say all of the ones I've just mentioned do last really well, but this one definitely I still pick up on it, like not overly strongly, but it's definitely still there at the end of the day. 
The Pacifica roll-ons, I do think you do need to apply them, but they're in a roll-on form, so it's super easy anyway. And they are also much cheaper. There must be something to do with the lasting power of scents and the price. I don't know if that's real or not, but that's definitely something I've noticed. So anyway, I did just want to share a few of my favorite scents of the year with you. There are so many wonderful vegan and cruelty-free brands out there when it comes to scent. It just takes a little looking into, and I do have a couple videos on it, so I will link them for you. It's been a really easy switch. Like, I kind of thought it would be hard, but... Not that hard. Really not that hard. I do have a few bits from Cake Beauty here, and I know that I had a discount code from them, which was a fairly hefty discount, I think until the very beginning of the year, so I want to make sure I mention that in case you want to pick anything up. Okay, so it's a 40% off affiliate code discount, so I do benefit from you using that as well as you getting the 40% off, and it's valid until the end of the year, and it excludes bundles, and you just need to use the code WIFELIFE at checkout, and you will get 40 for zero percent off but I'll put that information down in the links down below in the description box too some of the products from them I wanted to mention were one of them is the everything balm now lots of brands do have this kind of thing where you can use it as like a lip balm you can use it on dry skin you can use it in your hair probably I don't know but often they do have um, beeswax or lanolin in them but theirs is vegan and obviously cruelty free it smells delicious it smells kind of like cake and it does work really nicely whether, like I said, it's on your lips, maybe you've got like cracked uh, skin or dry cuticles or anything like that. It's just a really nice kind of protective balm. So if, like me, you live in the tundra and you need a really nice, lovely balm, really recommend this one. Great to keep in your bag because you can use it for anything. The only thing I will say is every now and then I find that the pump kind of sticks. So what I do is just twist it off, kind of give the tube a little squeeze to re-jiggle uh, the contents and then put it back on and it typically does work after that. So definitely been loving that one this year and this kind of lives in my day-to-day -day bag. Another product which is kind of one of their everything products is their everything powder. Again this one is cruelty free and vegan as with everything I'm mentioning. Now in theory it has 21 plus uses. It says hair, hands, face and body. One of the reasons I wanted to mention this is because yes all of those things are great. You can use it in like shoes to keep them fresh and stuff like that but I have kind of crappy wrists and every now and then I'll have to wear braces just to keep them still for a while because overuse is what kind of aggravates it and makes it worse so every now and then I do have to give my wrists a break and what I like to do is apply this to my arm first and that way it doesn't get like too like sweaty and stinky in the brace because I do wear them like all day long obviously after you wash your hands and stuff you can just reapply a little bit but I uh, just wanted to mention that in case any of you guys wear braces on any part of your body this has been really nice to kind of keep the area fresh and smelling nice and kind of wicking away any moisture so um yeah kind of random very specific but I love this stuff and then another one that does live in my bag is the Cake Beauty Heavy Cream Intensive Hand Repair Balm. I also have the bigger size of this too, I think, so I could, in theory, refill it from that. It might be a little bit difficult, but <laughs> I'll give it a go. Just a really nice, thick, heavy hand cream. Great to keep in your bag because it's a little mini, and they do have the bigger size too, and it smells... Oh, it smells so good. It smells like cake mix. Mm. All of their stuff smells so delicious. So anyway, um, I haven't tried a ton of their hair stuff. I do have one of their hair products that I'm going to show you next. But I know that Tashina over on Logical Harmony has raved about some of their hair products too. So you might want to check those out. Uh, yeah, let's move on to hair. So that cake hair product I wanted to mention is the Cake Hair Razor. Now, I previously had used... Years and years ago, I think it was maybe like a bedhead powder that you kind of like put at your roots and it would make them kind of like sticky and gritty and that you could kind of like re judge them to get the volume back. Did any of you guys use that? Anyway, I really did like it because I do have very fine hair and I just find it hard to get volume um, to stay there. Now, when I came across this, I was like, please be the same as that product that I used to use. And oh my gosh, it is, but I think it's better and it smells really good. So it has this kind of like very direct nozzle. So what I'll do is I'll lift up like the top layer of hair, give it a really quick mist in there. You don't want to use too, too much because it can get a little too sticky. And then I just let the layer down, zhuzh it back up, and it just gives you such good volume. And I think you could probably use this throughout all of the hair, to be honest. It might not have to be at the roots, but for volume, this stuff is incredible. Really recommend it, especially if, like me, you have very fine hair and you have a hard time getting volume and keeping it. Because even if, by some chance, your hair is that stubborn that this does not help you keep the volume, the fact that it is kind of, like, sticky and movable means that you can just, like, zhuzh it back up and you get, like, great volume again. So, highly recommend this stuff. The only thing I will say is don't use too much. Use a little bit 
at a time because if you use too much your hair will become kind of very sticky. So you just need the tiniest amount. Speaking of getting volume in your hair, I wanted to mention the hair extensions that I have been using. I used and wore hair extensions for years at one point. I tried every different kind there was. I think tape-ins are the only kind I've never tried. And then a lot of you did ask me if I knew of a more kind of like ethical hair extension brand. And I came across Perfect Looks, which to me looked like the best option. Of course, I would always recommend you guys look into stuff yourself, read up on it, and kind of like make your own decision based on that. But these are some extensions I did pick up. So so this is the color that it came in like it literally came in my hair color which is wild so these are the clipping ones I actually do have two clipping wefts in right now up here and I just kind of like cut them shorter to match the rest of my hair to add a little bit of volume because I try and pretend that I'm not affected by you know stupid beauty standards but sometimes I do get a little bummed that my hair is really fine and I know that's stupid but um, anyway, these are ones I've been using either for length or for volume like I have it now. And I did want to mention them to you guys. I do have a whole video on them and how I use them. I show you how to use both their ponytail as well as the clip-in. So if, like me, you kind of get a little down on yourself for having fine hair or maybe hair that doesn't really grow that much, I found them to be the best option. So yeah. And then a few more hair products that I've been loving. One is the St. Tropica Organic Coconut Hot Oil Hair Mask. So these come in sachets like this. So I think you are actually meant to microwave these, but sometimes I just um, run them under a really hot tap and like melt them that way. But it's just like coconut oil, um, it has biotin and a bunch of other really good ingredients that are meant to be helpful to your hair. And one thing I will say is if I just use regular coconut oil in my hair, I've, tr <laughs> I've tried that before, it's almost impossible to get out. These somehow are much easier to get out. I don't know if it's how the coconut oil is processed or maybe one of the other ingredients that makes it easier. But anyway, these are a really great hair mask. Definitely make my hair feel nice and shiny, but also have like movement and volume. I did use one before I washed my hair today. Each of these packs, I probably get three or four uses out of because like I said, I have extremely fine hair. So it doesn't take much to saturate my whole head of hair. So I would say just like snip the corner off or make sure you have something to keep it in afterwards because you might be able to get a few uses out of this. So you get three of these hair mask sachets in there. Like I said, I probably get, you know, nine plus uses out of that versus three. And then you do get a shower cap in there too, which is currently in my bathroom. This is pretty much the only treatment I think I've used in my hair lately. And I really do like it. I feel like it's kind of helped my hair remain a little bit stronger, softer, little shiny and yeah I can't recommend these enough I've really been enjoying them. If you do use um, hair masks that you find hard to get out of your hair the next product I'm going to mention is very helpful. So I wanted to mention in general Lush shampoo bars again they are a great way to cut down on packaging. I still do use some other shampoos and conditioners on occasion but I keep going back to these and I love them and I've gone through several now. So this is the scenic one. I have just used it so it's kind of like stuck to the bottom of the little tub right now but it's just a solid shampoo. You can lather up in your hands or you can kind of like rub it through your hair a little bit. And this one especially is really nice and clarifying and helps give you some volume as well. So I would really recommend this if you are someone that uses a lot of hair masks and finds you get residue in your hair. This one is great. I also really like... What is the red one? Jason and the Argan Oil, I think it's called. That one is really beautiful as well. And yeah, I've talked about these a bunch before, but I did just want to mention them because I do go back to them again and again. I think they're super convenient. If you are trying to cut down on packaging, these are a really great way to go. Really any of the lush naked stuff, like the shampoo bars, the um, solid shower gels, the body conditioners, or the um, whatever these things are called. Great ways to cut down on packaging. A cute little baby hairbrush that I, you know, I wasn't expecting a ton from, but I actually love it for my hair. So this one is from Cake Beauty as well, if you do want to use that discount. I really love this little hairbrush um, because it has the regular bristles with the, like, um, you know, little bobbles on the end, like the normal normal bristles but then it does also have what they've called like vegan boar bristle too which is just a more it's probably like nylon or something um it's not made of vegan boars and it kind of has that like bristly feel in there as well so I love this especially like I said I have fine hair it tangles a lot I also think this is great to brush through hair extensions this brush is amazing I'm not sure if it comes in a full size but if it does I might consider getting it but anyway I just use this in my hair like normally day to day I don't just keep it for like travel or anything like that but if you do have kind of tangly hair or you want something with that more like fibery what you would think of like boar bristle brush this one is a really great alternative so just wanted to mention that 
I love it. I think it's adorable. Okay, so we're on to the last two hair products and then I have two uh, nail items I want to show you. So one of the hair products I've been loving is the Rahua Defining Hairspray. This is a medium hold hairspray in a pump bottle. It's not a, um, what do you call it, aerosol. So this is vegan, gluten free, 90% natural. When I have my like messy, tousled, wild hair, this is what I use. Kind of helps to give you definition, also a little bit of kind of like grit and it's just amazing. So I will either mist this through my hair and kind of like mess it up or I'll use it to spray a little bit on my hands, rub it together and then just kind of like pat down any flyaways or anything like that. But this stuff is amazing. If you're looking for a kind of stronghold hairspray to use in kind of like curly or like wild type hair, I really do recommend this. I would definitely buy this again. And I also decanted some into a little bottle to put in my travel bag too. That's how much. I love this stuff. And then I had to mention this. This is the Define Me hair fragrance. It's perfume for your hair, which you could say, well, couldn't you just spray normal perfume on your hair? You could, but this is formulated to not be as drying as spraying perfume on your hair. Perfumes typically have a fairly decent alcohol content in them. Um, I do think this does have some natural alcohol in it, but it's formulated to have other more nourishing ingredients in it too, so it's going to be better for your hair. And this one is the Scent Harper. Just a great way to kind of freshen up your hair, or if you just want to spray this in your hair and don't perhaps wear like body perfumes, this way when your head warms up a bit or you move it or flick your hair around, you're going to give off a little bit of scent, which I am all about. I am going to smell delightful once I've finished. Okay, onto the last two products, which are nail products. Wasn't really sure where else to put these, but um, one is the NCLA uh, nail oil. I really love this stuff. This is in the Thin Mint scent. Definitely does smell like little chalky mints. It's delicious. I find that it immediately makes the dry, crappy, hideous skin around my nails look just good again. So definitely a cute little convenient size. They do come in a lot of different scents. My only complaint is that the dropper, the glass dropper part needs to be longer because once you get down to like the last third, it's extremely hard to get it out using the dropper. You kind of have to like untwist, tilt, um, and do it that way, which is not like a huge deal, but I just, I really wish that the droppers were longer. They should be able to reach the bottom of the bottle really. But yeah, love this. And a brand in general that I want to mention is Madame Glam. You guys know I love them. Nails were another thing that I was thinking like this is going to be really hard to find vegan and cruelty free options for especially for like nail extensions or enhancements shall we say. But these were built with the Madame Glam Builder Gels which I do owe you guys a video on but they have now come out with a different product which I think may be better. So I'm going to do some experimenting with that and then I will absolutely bring you a video on how I build my own um, uh, gel nails. The colour I'm wearing right now, which I hope is picking up accurately on camera, I feel like it's showing up lighter than it really is. Anyway, like I mentioned, I glued the end of this one back on. The colour is hubby's favourite, which I think is stupid, but whatever, we won't get into that. I love this colour. I think it's beautiful. I did post a picture of it on my Instagram, which will be more, hopefully, colour accurate. I don't know why it's looking so much lighter on the, um, or maybe it's not. I don't know. Anyway, you know, white balance. What is it even? So anyway, their One Step Gels is a gel polish, so it's strong, lasts a really long time, they have a ton of good colours. The difference is that you don't have to use a base and top coat like you would with uh, regular gels. So it's just a little bit easier, you apply a coat, cure it, apply another coat, cure that again, do a third one if you want to, and you don't have to put a top or base coat with it. But yeah, I had to mention Madame Glam in here because I basically don't really use many other nail polishes anymore. Um, I tend to stick to their Builder Gel and their One Step Gels, which I'm obsessed with. And like I said, I am going to bring you a video on how to build your own vegan and cruelty-free nail enhancements once I have just experimented some more. But also, if you guys would be interested, I thought it might be fun to do kind of like a seasonal video on my favourite shades from them which will probably be in the one step gel range because that's basically all I use. So let me know if you'd be interested in that. I am running out of puff. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing my favourite kind of hair and body bits. Not my body bits, but you know what I mean, from the last year. Again, everything will be linked and listed below if you do want to check that out. Please do give this a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you. And tomorrow will be the last and final instalment of my five days of faves, which will be wild cards. So there's going to be some probably interesting 
things in there from like tech, home, stuff like that. And then next week, fingers crossed, as long as the weather cooperates and my internet cooperates, we will be back to my regular schedule of Monday, Wednesday and Friday posts. So if you made it this far, thank you for watching. I appreciate you very much. And yeah, I hope you have a really good day. Bye.